Hey everybody, Chief Meteorologist Brad Petovich here. We're taking a look at a hot and humid weekend, but there is the risk for some strong storms possibly late Sunday into Monday. So I'm going to get into some of those details because if you're planning for the late weekend Monday time frame, something we got to keep an eye on. Here's the wider view today. Beautiful conditions. I don't expect many storms today, probably just a 20% chance, but you kind of see the mess building to our west. We've got a couple disturbances whole bunch of fronts and some surface lows that are going to be heading our way at the same time warm humid air is going to be surging into the southeast and we're going to see some really hot muggy conditions in the next couple of days let's look at the severe weather outlook today i'm going to turn that on i'll turn off the satellite imagery just for a second so this is today's outlook you can see most of that severe weather will be to our west but as we go into tomorrow that risk begins to shift to the east and you'll notice that most of the western Carolinas start to get into the medium to lower risk and again what I anticipate is we're going to see storms develop over here in some kind of line and then make a run at the western Carolinas late in the day and then on Monday you'll see again a big chunk of our area under that medium to low risk so that late Sunday Monday time frame is something we're going to be watching it's all because of this mess back to the west so let's get into future cast all right, so today, as I mentioned, I'm not anticipating much out there. And as we go through the afternoon hours, I'll stop this about mid-afternoon, 3 o'clock. You can see we should be dry. Now, could we see a pop-up shower? Probably a 10%, 20% chance, mainly in the mountains and foothills, typical area where we see some, uh, some heating of the day on those uh, ridge tops. But it's really going to be Sunday that we're going to watch for the potential. See the storms building to our west tonight? Those are likely going to be pushing into the mountains maybe by early on Sunday morning and then falling apart. But when you see storms fall apart, you go, ah, they're done. But usually they leave behind some kind of disturbance or boundary that can help enhance storms as the heating of the day builds. So as we go into Sunday, you can see the storms are off to the west. It's 9 a.m. Sunday morning. We're going into the afternoon. Some heating occurs. And again, we could get some reintensification around two o'clock. So notice uh, not a ton, but we start to see some develop. So I think mid afternoon to evening hours, yeah, there's a potential that we could see some storms develop in the afternoon, especially depending on what happens to our west. And that's really the key part, because you saw those storms dying as they came across Nashville and Huntsville. That's likely going to be some kind of cold pool or some outflow boundary that's going to be there. So wherever that is today, and we'll be able to see that this afternoon and evening, it'll, it'll set the stage for where we're probably going to see storms develop on your Sunday. But either way, that's why I think there's at least that low end risk you know, for parts of the area and a medium risk for the mountains tomorrow. We'll go through the afternoon, evening to see they push east. Let's go into Monday morning. So it's kind of the same setup. Another cluster developing back to the west late Sunday night, early Monday morning. It's one o'clock in the morning. Starts to push into the mountains, falls apart. Does it leave behind some kind of disturbance or boundary as we go into Monday? Uh, we get the heating of the day. We're probably going to see new storms develop, especially ahead of what looks like another little uh, trough or something digging in from the west. So you get the idea. Not tons of storms, but late tomorrow and again Monday will be the time frame we'll watch. This is a 48-hour loop. I'll let it run through one time so you can see it. So again, today, no issues at all, but starting mid-afternoon on Sunday into Sunday night and Monday, we got to watch the potential for some strong storms. Of course, I'll post updates today, tonight, and tomorrow as we've got you covered here at WCNC.